it appears there is a drama between Pulse Chain and Binance Smart Chain that we don't know about. But before we get into that, let's first look at the exciting stuff that are happening in the Pulse Chain ecosystem. There is some shocking stuff that's happening. Like, first of all, the incentive token is trending on Twitter. Now, this is special for, for, for one reason, that I've never heard Richard R. talk about incentive token at all. <laughs> he talks about Pulse, he talks about Pulse X, he talks about Hex, but never has he spoken about incentive token. And incentive token is trending with over a million tweets in the last 24 hours. Pulse Chain is certainly a game changer. Now, Defiant News is talking about Pulse Chain as well, right? They're saying at PulseChain.com, a recently launched Ethereum fork has seen a 50% growth in the past 24 hours, reaching total value locked of 513 million. Interestingly, it seems that PulseX is driving all the chain activity. Are you currently using Pulse Chain? Share your thoughts in the comments below, right? Now, the divide is one of those other mainstream crypto news outlets right there, right? And what we've seen recently is that most of the crypto mainstream media has ignored Pulse Chain as if it doesn't exist. But now it's getting to a point where it's undeniable. Now, what's happening with Binance Smart Chain, right? Now, earlier on, I made a video talking about how Pulse Chain flipped Binance Smart Chain in terms of daily transaction volume, right? And then what happened was then Binance then recovered and then reflipped <laughs> Pulse Chain. But now what we hear now, because I was listening to a video from Somi where he explains exactly what happened, right? Now let's hear what he has to say. So look at this. They made a contract named One. So they didn't make it. <laughs> they made it very obvious. It generates 1.5 billion dollars of fake volume on it now i've never been one to suspect binance of playing this kind of behavior now the reason i've never suspected them is because i, I watched an interview with uh cz uh, the ceo of binance and he said that we don't fake volume and he said that the reason we don't fake volume is because if you fake volume you have to fake other stuff as well and that it's extremely difficult to do so you're better off just having the volume and the way I explained it is this, right? You can't have massive volumes and a Telegram group without too many people and a Twitter that doesn't have too many people and uh, daily tweets are low. So he says that faking volume is too much work. It's just easier to have the real volume. But I do tend to agree with what Somi is saying in this video because what Somi says is that uh, there's a contract that has been made that has made massive transactions between five wallets, right? The reason why I agree, I agree with him is this. When I first saw that uh, Pulse Chain flipped Binance Smart Chain, I was very excited, right? Like everyone. So I kept on checking again and again and again and again. Like most people do in regards to price, right? You keep on refreshing to see where is the price going. Refresh, 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 refresh. And then at one moment, uh, Binance Smart Chain re flipped Pulse Chain. And then when they flipped Pulse Chain, they all of a sudden had 1.8 billion transactions. Now, unfortunately, I didn't uh, capture the screenshot on Dex, uh, on Dex Screener, but I didn't think much of it. I just said, okay. But surprisingly, how does a blockchain move from having uh, just a little under $400 million worth of transactions to $1.8 in a few hours? Now, uh, Dex Screener fixed it and now they have about $700 million uh, transactions the last time I checked. But it, 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 it was really strange and I just didn't think of it until I saw, uh, uh, I saw the tweets that uh, Sumi put in the video that he, he said, where he said that, look, they created a contract to fake transaction volume. Now, if indeed they are faking transaction volume, <laughs> it tells you how much they are afraid of Pulse Chain. And it also tells you that uh, definitely we are in the right space. It tells you that we are definitely flipping and everyone is scared of, of, of what Pulse Chain can do. And because of they see the numbers and they are scared of those numbers. And yeah, it is what it is. But at the end of the day, the best thing is to just... Open the floodgates. Stop gatekeeping, right? Open up uh, coin market cap for Pulse Chain. Open up coin market cap for Hex. Open up coin market cap for all the Pulse Chain projects that are being launched. Open all of that, right? All open up Binance for, for these uh, projects. Because one thing is certain, right? No one can force people to like a project. If people are onboarding to Pulse Chain, if people are choosing to spend the, their crypto on to get on, on board on Pulse Chain and to to interact with that blockchain, yeah, it is what it is, right? So I think that if that's the case, then that's that, right? Now, if we look at the stats right now, uh, Pulse X is now sitting on 1.9 million transactions, a little over that, right? Now, P PLSX uh, is down a little bit. We're sitting at uh, 0 0.00103, and we are almost at 50 billion burnt. The bridge is almost completely synced. So all the fundamentals are looking extremely good, 
and uh, I'm very, very happy to say that. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me know what you think about this. Do you think Binance is faking volume, or do you think that, well, look, they just miraculously found billions of dollars of transactions the exact moment, coincidentally, that Pulse Chain flipped them? Now, if Pulse Chain is now greater than Binance Smart Chain in terms of value, uh, 24 hour trading volume, I think that's a big deal. That's a big deal that deserves to be celebrated. <laughs> but for some reason, I don't yet have that celebratory vibe yet. But uh, this is the this would be the biggest thing in crypto and nothing goes uh, beyond that. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time. And uh, obviously not financial advice, right? <laughs> yeah.